I don't know any words for this except the trite one. Tension is mounting here at Cape Canaveral. We've heard that phrase so many times before, but I don't know any circumstance to which it applies quite like this. Every day, the world comes to you. We call it the news. Prints and pictures, sights and sounds, reports that tell you what's new. What's news? It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. From Tranquility Base, I am the Edison Fulgar. Back to Kitty Hawk. The death of a disease, a change of heart. It's news when you're the first. It might be the first day in a new school. It ends up in the history books. It starts as news. War is always news, no matter what the cause, no matter when it's fought, no matter how, no matter where. There are people charged with recording the course of the war and reporting news from the front. 3,000 miles from home. This is how we learn about individual valor, how we come to understand the titanic struggles that can tear nations apart and engulf the world. A date which will live in infamy. No matter where it's fought, no matter when it's fought, no matter how. First atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima. War is news. selected targets to undermine Saddam Hussein's ability to wage war. But if the fires of war are news, so is the outbreak of peace. After all the false dawns and dashed hopes, peace replaced war. It's news when the troops come home. Sweet celebrations of victory. Private moments of triumph. Oh yes, peace is news. Life is news. Life with its controversies. With its joys. Small lives. And great ones. Where there's life, there's news. From Dallas, Texas, the flash apparently official President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're told to everything there is a season, a time to be born and a time to die. A time to die, but too often it's too soon when death is news. On campus, this is a tragedy of monumental proportions. 
You all know the reasons which have impelled me to renounce the throne. It happens to kings. It happens to stars. It happens to those with stars in their eyes. Love is news. In the south, in the north, out west, back east, hate kills. And hate is news. We are about as one with this force as you could possibly be. Tonight, the NBC family is mourning the death of one of our own. Correspondent David Bloom. Behind each word, behind each picture in the news is a human being. They go where the action is in their search for the truth. And some don't come home. The search for justice is news. The fight for a better life. The battle to build a better world. Facts come first. Then ideas. Then ideals. The press is the medium of the exchange. Freedom and a free press. A clear account of your world tells you where you stand. Information is where liberty starts. That's the news.